Hello everyone, this is Tori Mahar here, and we're back to the Pearl LP, and we are taking on the second half of the Elite Four members today, starting with Mr. Flint here, the Fire-type Elite Four member. So have your Water, Ground, or Rock-type out if you have those on your team. If not, put someone on out that has one of those three types of moves. So here we go. Yo, Trina! You had me counting the days on my fingers waiting for you to come. <laughs> I heard from Faulkner what you did in Sunny Shore. You managed to light a fire in that guy's heart again. How could you not expect me to look forward to seeing you in battle? Here we go! Challenge by Flint. Rapidash. Is a unicorn! And surf. <laughs> Adios. Send an inferno. Mm, I think we're good. Hello, Ritsu. Good to see ya. I love you. That's what I called my Infernape when I did a run when, uh, with uh, Infernape as my starter. It was awesome. I liked Infernape. Although, I know I liked all three Sinus starters pretty equally, but there will always be a soft spot in my heart for Piplup because it was my first. So I guess I'm a bit biased on that one. <laughs> oh, nah. That shall hurt. So here, Surf. What? What? Oh, my punch. Okay. That, that is a move that goes first. Okay. <laughs> I was like, wait, how is it faster than me? Oh, wait, it's actually one level up higher than me. Okay. Well, then I guess it's good that I was level 6 today. And Brennan goes down. Ruto gains a lot of experience. Not enough to level up. Send in Driftlim. Yeah, although why you have a flying type among your fire type motif, I will not understand. So let's send in Mr. Electricity. Say, Flint's not the best at actually keeping fire types on his fire type team. Ah. <laughs> send out Driftlim. Okay, Thunderbolts. Is it dead? I think it's dead. Good, it's dead. Send in Lipony. Sure, I know who to use here! Oh, Silver! And High Jump Kick. I've actually used Lip Honey before, and it's a pretty good uh, special tank. It's also really, really speedy. So, if you can think of a really good strategy with that, 
It's a pretty good Pokemon, although I highly recommend getting a female because it just looks weird otherwise. Send in Steelix. Nope. Hi, bro. How would you like me to kill you today? Would you like me to kick you to death or punch you to death? I wonder. Hmm. I'm going to kick you to death to be safe because I get a stab with this. Super effective, awesome. That doesn't look good. Sunlight turned harsh, sunlight is strong. Well, that ups fire type moves. So, I am going to take that to my advantage and use my own fire type move. Fire punch! Hooray! Whatever he was going to use, I used it against him. Smart me. <laughs> Hooray! We beat him! Exclamation point! La di blah! Money! Da 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 da! Woo! Burn right down to the cinders. That's it? Okay. Well, healing time. Healing time, healing time, it is, it is healing time. I might need your Lepa Berry. Into your use, Hyper Potion. Ruto, please. Beautiful. Okay, let's check our PP. Eleven. Still looks good. Looks good. Looks good. 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 And good. Okay. Quick dip da. Get out. Okay. Oh, I know who's next. Okay, the person who's next is, in my opinion, the hardest dude of these guys besides the champion. He is not fun at all. He's just, he's just not. Alright, here we go. This is the Psychic Type Elite 4 member. And he is a beep. <laughs> just, he just is. I remember my first time playing through it. If I died anywhere on the Elite Four, it was usually him before I finally got through it. <laughs> Alright, let's take him on. Let's see what you can do to Frostine. Finish the book and just reading. Allow me to introduce you myself. I'm Lucian. I'm a user of the Psychic Type. I'm gonna say you've already proven yourself to be outstanding by coming this far. They say I'm the toughest of the Elite Four, and they are right. I am afraid I will have to go out, all out against you to live up to that reputation. Sorry I didn't read all your text, Lucian. But I, I did confirm that, in my opinion, you are the hardest Elite Four member. So... There you go. You, you got a little, you got a little shout out there, I suppose. Go, Frostine. All right, Frostine will fight an Exazor. Bye. Send in Medicham. Yes. Wait. No, you have a flying type move, but it, it's 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 risky. Let's 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 go with let's go with the safer bet. Let's go with Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball would be a good plan. Go flow.
Alright, Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball. Alright, awesome job, Flo. Super effective, bye. Lots of experience, great. Sending the normal psychic type. Ah, uh, what would you be to? Probably bug. So we'll get Frostine out again. Although, Flo has a bug type move too. Just Frostine's is gonna be a little better. <laughs> Bingo, super effective. Store, of course. Super effective. Exes are. Referee goes down. Experience. Send in bronze on. Yes. Okay. Silver. Time to shine. I think you're. I think you're uh, making silver too much for the hero. <laughs> in this case, yes, yes, he is because he knows fire punch, and that is what this buddy is weak to. Because this bronzong has levitate, so ground type moves are not gonna work. And because this is Gen Four, before um, Steel got a uh, Got its resistance to ghost and dark taken away. Yeah. Fire is your best bet here. Come on. Mm, die. Yes! It was burned. Okay, I'll take it. Citrus berry. Stay with me, Silver. Stay with me. Stay with me. Stay with me. Yes! Yes! Come on, Silver! No! Not a forest store! F you, Lucian! F you! Fire punch! <laughs> Again, F you. I am not risking it. I am oh my God. <laughs> healing my HP. Appar I'm, 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 I'm sorry, peoples. <laughs> no, it's fine. You're obviously watching something quite hilarious. Use the max potion because I'm not risking it. I do not want Silver to go down. I need him. Okay. There we go. Okay, fine with me. Fire punch. Just, just, just keep fire punching. Fire punch. Please die. Ah! Go freaking die. Okay. Special defense. Fine. Fire punch. Die! 
Silver says die, so you shall die. Yay! Go, Silver! Woo! Silver, Silver, Silver! Send an Alkazam. Sure. Back to Frostine. Right, great job, Silver. Oh, last Pokemon! Awesome! Yes! We made it to the last Pokemon. Hmm, now what should I do? I don't care. I am going to Exazor you. Exazor! And yeah! One hit KO! Go, Frosty! You are awesome! Yes! Dead. Done. Finished. Yeah. Did it. Congratulations, you've now beaten the Elite Four. However, that doesn't mean you're done with the Pokemon League. There remains the champion. I warn you, the champion is far stronger than the Elite Four. And the champion is. The champion is definitely very, very strong. That's why you need to be level 60. Now go on. Step through the door to your final battle. Awesome. I will do so after I heal. Alright, healage. Let's see here. Silver, you need one. And for Austin, you need one. And because this person's really hard, I'm getting flow to freaking full health. Alright, now let's check. PP figure ten. That's good. That's good. Good. Fire punch is a little low. Uh, I might get more on that. That's good. That's good. Okay. So I'll use the level berry on fire punch. That is what I'll do. Bag. Lip berry. Use. Silver for being awesome. Fire punch. PV wizard. Bowl. Okay. Great. And you want to save before you go through the door because uh, the champion will give you a speech. <laughs> and you cannot uh, exit after that speech. So you want to save here. Yes, please. Save the game! Awesome. Yeah, Frostine's the one I want out front. Alright, I warn you again, this door right here is your last chance to save before you meet the champion. So do so if you are an intelligent person, which I'm assuming most of you are. Hey, we've seen this person before. Have you been keeping well? Thank you for Mount Cornet. I'm truly grateful. Together, you and your Pokemon overcame all the challenges you faced, however difficult. It means that you've triumphed over any personal weaknesses too. The power you learned, I can feel it emanating from you. But that's enough talk. Let's get on with why you're here. As the Pokemon League champion, I accept your challenge. And here we go! Battling! One of the coolest champions ever, in my opinion! Cynthia! She starts out with Spear Tube. And until Gen 6, this guy has no weaknesses, so hit it with all you got! Oh, we have the same ability. This should be interesting. Poison Jack! Not very effective. I don't care. I'm hoping to poison it. That's that's what I'm hoping for.
Not very effective. Poison jab. Not very effective. Ah, that's gonna suck. Stupid crits. Okay. And he's my best bet. Uh, Silver can maybe burn him. That might be my best bet. Awesome, getting revenge for Rusty. Yep, floor store. Knew it wasn't gonna last long. I think Silver will tank a move, and we're going to max revive. Nope, I don't have any max revive. Well, then we'll revive. We'll revive. Then we'll revive Frostine. Frostine came back! Okay, he's still good. Uh, you gonna fire punch again? I don't know what that does. Can't use items. I guess that means I can't heal with silver. So we're gonna fire punch this dude one last time and make it go die. Yes. <laughs> Painted. Frosting gained experience. Silver gained experience being the boss that he is. Send in Roserade. Yes. We'll go with Flo here. Yeah, Flo's good. Psychic. Okay. Psychic. Super effective. Awesome. Psychic again. Come on, Flo. Great job. Bye, Roserade. You're awesome. Flo gained lots of experience. Send in Milo Chick. Yes. Simba!
Thunderbolt. Frickin' 63. Yes. My other tick goes down. Gas for dawn. Yes. Oh, yeah. Wood hammer. Come on, Twiggy. K up, K up, K up, K up. Yeah, K up. Oh, jeez. But still, it's dead. That's the point. Painted awesome experience. Send in Lucario. Yes. Uh, actually, no. no. Not many people have good HP right now, except for Twiggy and Ruto, so. We'll keep Twiggy out. Alright, Twiggy will Earthquake. If he survives the Aura Sphere, which he does, that's awesome. Come on, kill the thing. Almost! Almost dead! Ah. Okay, HP. Max potion. Oh. Please. <laughs> Good. No more beeping. <laughs> okay, fair enough. We, we 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 both use this turn to heal, so I suppose it's fair enough. Earthquake. To be this. <laughs> yes, dead. Go die in a hole. Lucario goes down. Twiggy gains tons of experience. Almost levels up. Send in Garchomp. I would, but the person I want to switch to needs HP. So, Twiggy is going to tank. And we're going to heal her up. Sixty-six? Alright, I forgot you need to be sixty-five for Cynthia. Crap! I'm under level that I'm doing this. I uh, feel stupid right now because I thought it's, you needed to be level 60. But you need 65. So wish me luck, people. I am officially much under leveled for this. Okay, well, Twiggy's still up. Uh, Twiggy, you want an earthquake?
Yep. Twiggy didn't make it. Frosty will avenge you, Twiggy! Alright. Pray for the best. Ice beam! And now we know it has brick break, so that's that's not gonna be good for me. Come on, Frostine. Come on, Frostine. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Not quite. Don't use brick break. 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 Please, please, please don't use brick break. Please. No brick break. No brick break. No brick break. Okay. Survive! Survive! Come on! Yes! Okay. Ice beam. Kill it, Frosty! Come on! Come on! Come on, Frosty! Please! Yeah! I beat Cynthia! Five levels under level! <laughs> I feel awesome right now. And only two of my dudes went down. I, I'm very happy with that result, especially considering I was underleveled. Yay! I did it! Woo! I did it! And underleveled! I, I am proud of myself, because I forgot you need to be freaking 65 for Cynthia. It's usually... 60, but whatever. So she said some stuff and I skipped over the text and I'm sorry about that because Cynthia's awesome and she's important. I should read her text. You gave the support your Pokemon needed to maximize their power and you guided them with certainty to secure victory. You have both passion and calculating coolness. Together, you and your Pokemon can overcome any challenge like being five levels under leveled that may come your way. Those are the impressions I got from our battle. I'm glad I got to take part in the crowning of Sinnoh's new champion. Come with me. We'll take the lift. Awesome. Edit it! Woo! Oh, nope. It's automatic walking. Okay. We did it! We did it! Da, 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 da. We did it! We did it! I think I'll call this- Actually, you need to be level 65! <laughs> the room ahead is the Hall of Fame. Hey, Professor Rowan! Tomps, your last battle was splendid. Oh, hello, Professor Rowan. Hmm, a child I enlisted for my Pokedex project has come this far. It's only natural that I come and witness a child's- Crowning glory. Pomps, I shouldn't call you a child anymore. You've grown into a real champion. Professor, you still enjoy the enthusiasm kids bring to your research, don't you? Pomps, step this way, please. Professor Rowan, I need you, you, you over here as well. Apparently, I can't talk today. It's been a long while since I last entered this room. If your last time here was when I became champion, then yes, that would be quite a long time ago. Tomps, welcome to the Hall of Fame. Your names will be recorded for posterity here. What you're leaving are the memories of your adventure so far. It's time to record your names, you and your Pokemon. Remember, your Pokemon are partners that grew with you through many challenges and battles. This machine will make a permanent record of your achievement. Hooray! I'll try to say where we found our Lord dudes while we go through this. Frostine! Oh, Meta Route 260 it already does it for you. Twiggy! Meta Lake Verity! Ruto! Meta Valley Wind Works! Silver! The awesome Silver! Meta Route 211! No! Meta Valley Woodworks. And last but not least, Simba! Meta Route 202. And us! 
Congratulations! We did it! And under leveled! Do not turn off the power. Awesome. Well, we'll see y'all in the next episode for the beginning of, in my opinion, a very short post game because I'm only doing one thing and one thing only in this post game. There's a whole another thing you can do, but I, I'm not doing it. I, I'm just doing one thing. Oh, and we get the lovely and beautiful credits. So thank you to all the wonderful people who made this game. Uh, thank you mostly because this was my first Pokemon game. And thank you for introducing me to the lovely world that is Pokemon. I am glad that I actually finished the selfie. I was... and, and, and also the meta world of Pokemon. In my opinion, yeah. that is a thing. Yeah. Because normally people think... They think of Pokemon games as like, this is the main adventure, and, but, actually, there's specific times where the games take place in mm. relation to the other games, mm. and then there's how the, um, how the world works, and mm. how different people in it are, and it's like, it's interesting when you think outside of just how the main game works, and putting all the games together yeah. into one universe. Yeah, I mean, uh, in Gen, well, in the first Gen, of course, you know, the jo the only region that existed was the Kanto region, but in the second Gen, then you could go between Johto and Kanto. And then in the third Gen, they actually say that your family moved from the Johto region. Right. So they're already at least connecting the two regions together through that. Right. Actually, three regions. Because Holland is connected to Johto, and Johto is connected to Kanto. That's true. And my opinion is, like, you might say, well, in Gen 1, Johto didn't exist, and it's not Johto didn't exist, you just couldn't go to Johto. Yeah. Yeah. The, the ability to travel there did not yet exist. Yeah. It's sort of like, uh, California or at least the west of the United States existed, it's just that no one had been there yet. Yeah. And the ability to go there was limited because the technology did not exist to do so, aka trains, which is really what helped grow the west to being the more metropolis-like area that it is. So yay, credits! Woo! Let's see here, Masao Taya. That's that's pretty good. Uh, Miki Hiro. That's cool. Miki Hiro Ishikawa. That's what to say. Miki Hiro Ishikawa. <laughs> Akira Yano. Wow. Uh, I need more funny names. Come on. Most of these just sound awesome. Masafumi Saitomo. The world, do you say that? It's Ota. Fu Fukunaga. Fukunaga. That, that sounds just awesome. Ni Nori Hidi Okamura. Hiroshi Akune. T Takao Nakano. S Sachiko Nakamichi. That's awesome. Nakamichi. Kiyomi o Oe? Oe? What? <laughs> Kaori Ando. Interesting. Aw, oh, boring English name! Lay! Boring English name! Although there's Keisuke Tominaga. Nob. That is awesome. Nob uh, Aga. What? What? <laughs> Something long and hard. I'm trying. Mika Kur Kurosawa. That's pretty good. I think I did that one. Maybe. I don't know. I forget. <laughs> Haruki Murakawa, that's pretty awesome. Suichi Yamamoto, that's awesome. Norihito Ito, that's awesome. You can call him Ito Ito. <laughs> Ito Ito. Uh, Hi Hiro Hiroaki Suru? What? Hi Hiroaki Suru. Still pretty awesome. Satoshi Tajiri? What? Wait, what did that last one say? That one looked uh, nice and funny to pronounce or try to pronounce. Fiend! Yay! I'm a man! <laughs> S 
So we're, we're, we're gonna quickly show off the part of the post game that I'm not doing in this LP because it's long and I don't really consider it necessary. <laughs> Someone else might do it, but I'm not doing it. Fiend. And now, the start of the game that I'm pretty sure y'all never saw. Although one thing I recently kind of like thought of on my own is like, you know how EV training and all that stuff got really big in Gen 4 with all the Wi-Fi stuff? Technically you can do that in Gen 3 because of the fact that that was when ability, not, yeah, abilities and um, natures were introduced. Yeah, but we know that and also part of it is breeding. Well, breeding was introduced in the second yes, gen. but actual breeding that actually helps people who care about that was not was not done well until fifth or sixth generation. Ah. So let's just say I'm not I'm trying not to be mean, but I think you're getting into a situation that you don't really know much about. Ah. Well, that's true because I don't really deal with breeding and all that stuff because. Though that's great for people who do care about it, I just feel like that's way too much time for me. And I think I've told you about what I feel about people who talk about things that they don't really know much about. Again, nothing uh. against you, just uh. I, it's like... You're going to make mistakes if you don't know what you're talking about and people are going to think you're dumb for not knowing. Ah. Well, so, let's just say... You're trying you know, to prevent me from sounding stupid. Yep. Which I appreciate. Alright, so next time we'll, we will show off what we're not going to talk about too much in this LP and, like, not really show off in the post game, And also do the one thing in the post game I do want to do. So we'll see y'all then. Bye!